Welcome back to Motoring Box, I'm Sean McKellar and today we are taking my BA Falcon XR6 Turbo out for a test drive. We've had some issues with the tail shaft on this car, but have we fixed it? Let's find out. Not quite, as it turns out. So we took the tail shaft out of this car, if you saw the previous videos, we took the tail shaft out. Uh, we sent it away to get reconditioned because the centre bearing on the tail shaft was completely knackered. So uh, Hardy Spicer replaced it. They also replaced the uni joint in the centre of the shaft. I got it back, I slapped it into the car and it's kind of 90% fixed. The uh, rumble we had at highway cruise around 80 to 100 is still there, slightly. But more importantly, uh, when your tail shaft centre bearing is flogged out, you will also get really bad sort of vibration or judder on taking off from the lights, for example. That is completely gone. So the car is beautifully smooth. If you sort of up to 110, the rumble goes away and it is like heaven. Awesome. But yeah, it's just the sort of 90, around 90 kilometres an hour. I've got a bit of a rumble. So I have a theory that it's to do with when the tail shaft is bolted up to the car, there is some kind of a balance issue, perhaps in relation to the flexible coupling on the front or where it bolts to the diff on the back. So I'm gonna to have to find someone who can balance the shaft when it's in the car. And I reckon if we can sort that out, this car's gonna be perfect. There's literally nothing else wrong with this car at the moment. And it's not often that you can say that about a B-Series Falcon. <laughs> so we're nearly there. This is just a quick little update, but I really appreciate all your comments uh, on the previous videos, people with uh, hints and ideas of what I could do. Uh, one of them was suggesting I check the angle of the tail shaft, like in relation to the Z or the vertical axes. Is it straight? There are spaces you can sort of add or remove from the center bearing to sort of change that angle. As far as I can tell, it's all sweet. So I think it purely comes down to the balance, unfortunately, and that's something I can't do myself. Having said that, I did try and troubleshoot it by unbolting the tail shaft from the diff again, and I spun it around until there were some old markings on there. I spun it around until the markings lined up, then I bolted it together again. And this was the test drive for that. It hasn't made a lick of difference. And I guess that makes sense because the tail shaft is balanced. So it shouldn't matter in theory which way you bolt it up. It's gonna be the same. So yeah, we'll have to find someone who can take a look at the shaft and balance it when it's in the car. I don't, don't really know who's going to do that yet, but I'll try and track someone down. And then yeah, hopefully we get some good news. Speaking of good news, since I'm giving you guys a little bit of an update, I have got the single piece tail shaft back again. And it is tempting to just whip this one out and put that one in. But uh, I do predict there's going to be some clearance issues to my exhaust and I do want to get a tail shaft loop made up for that as well. So I'm not gonna, just gonna resist for now, but I'm not gonna put it in straight away. Put it in later as part of some future upgrades perhaps. So yeah, it is tempting, but yeah, we'll stick with this two-piecer for now because like I said, it is 90% there. The car is driving beautifully. So yeah, hopefully we can get this thing sorted out soon. Uh, that's about it guys, I'll sign off. Thank you very much for supporting me. Really sorry things have been a bit quiet on the channel. I uh, haven't bought any new cars for a long time, but I do hope to rectify that coming up soon. So do stick with me. Thank you very much for your patience. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.